Hello. Hey. Greetings, <laughs> travelers. What's up? Do you wish welcome. to watch welcome. Dungeons and Dragons? Do you wish to we drag in your dungeon? That. Yeah, right. So, uh, a small recap for those of you who are joining us either for the first time or at least, so it's natural to forget sometimes. There's a lot of horns going outside of my window. Um, uh -oh. Last time, our heroes gathered uh, themselves in the tower and were able to steal the second piece of the key from the Lady Bluff. They had dinner with her, uh, and she had concocted a plan to perhaps trap uh, their friendly guards told them, but they escaped. Uh, they brought along Big Kyle with them, oh, a new yeah. addition to their group. <laughs> and uh, they Kyle's are. Yeah, yeah, and they are now. I feel terrible for separating him from his best friend. I feel like that's going to bite us in the ass. He definitely, like, you could see the pain in his eyes when you guys left, for sure. Voice and Big Kyle were like this, so. You know, no pain, oh, no gain, baby. Yeah. There we go, like that. <laughs> All right, well, uh, with that, I think we can just go ahead and launch in. So the four of you and your crew of Emil, Alexander Crisp, Unfroy, and Big Kyle drift away from the tower in the moonlight. And as you all silently look to one another, Alexander begins to place the two halves of the key together. As he does, a ringing sound begins to emit from it. Alexander hesitates before forcing the two halves into one. For a moment, when the two pieces join, everything is silent against the moonlight. Then black smoky tendrils erupt from the obsidian center and thousands of whispers can be heard as the tendrils spread far out across the aisles. A shockwave emits a key and the light on the tower behind you goes out. Everybody roll a d20. Oh no. Ooh, it's a two. 12. Okay, everybody just, just remember your number. Can I inhale the smoke? I got an eight. <laughs> I got a six. No, it's a little too solid for you to inhale, but you do try. Dang it. I try to like. Uh, okay. Emil turns to the group. We I have what nine, we came for. <laughs> we have what Sorry, we came for. Let's get out of here now. I can see a patrol ship up ahead. An island. It will be difficult, but if we go back for the ship now, the Lady Bluff will surely catch us, and she won't be so kind a second time. And Freud puts his hand out to stop Emil. Emil, it is five days to the Spine Islands by a fast ship. We will have no rations, and if we make it out tonight, we will surely be cut defenseless on the open seas. We cannot keep running. Let's take back our ship before the Lady Bluff gets there, and we can have a fighting chance when she finds us. Alexander looks pensively to both of them. I fear you are both right. Either way, we are likely to meet our end. And the three of them turn to you, looking for a decision. Ooh. Hmm. Can we hide in the watchtower with Dave? And then he'll cover for us? And he'll say, oh, they left. <laughs> you, uh, you can ponder that, but I don't think that that is going to work, given that there are a swing. Yeah, probably a close to 50 guards. <laughs> These these are the two options that seem uh, like you can go with them. Um, Stroke my beard a little bit. Sorry, Nick, you cut out for a, you cut out for a hot sec during that spiel for me. So okay. our options are to <laughs> yeah. What'd you miss? Re no, I heard one of the options is to reclaim the our ship, which is was yes. fixed, um, and that way if we get we'll have our own ship and it's very fast and it's five days to the next part of our mission and what was the other option the other option is to go capture the patrol ship that is out in front of you so if you look okay. at the map in the bottom corner you guys are by this uh -huh. tower and the patrol yep. ship is at the the peak like the bottom right corner so you can go steal okay. the patrol ship and try to escape into the open seas and like brave uh, the journey to the next set of islands with this key, or, and try to outrun the Lady Bluff. Or you can go back to the, uh, like the ship shop slash ship is stored, because it's now fixed. Try to mm. get it before they get there, and then go out the way you came in by that entry tower at the top left. Well, okay, well we made friends with the entry guard the first time, so we, I feel like we have a way out with Dave. 
And if we steal the patrol ship, it's not well stocked. And, and Lady Bluff could use our own ship, which is super fast and probably catch up with us and like straight mark us. I pretty much agree. I think we should use our own ship. Yeah. Yeah. We're risking Try and get back our ship. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So cool. you all agreed you're going to go back and try to steal your ship back. All right. Yeah. Let's do it. Copy. All right. A little bit, little bit more exposition to get through. Bear with me, and then the gameplay will happen. You're fine. But I want to weave. Uh, okay, <laughs> who rolled the highest out of that D20 group? Not me. Uh, I got a 12. <laughs> so I got an 8. Yeah. Nate. I got a 2. I... Okay, so 12 would be the yeah. highest. So skip. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so skip, as you begin, as you guys begin to move back to your ship, skip, you hear a whisper call out to you from the key. Oh no. And turning to see it in Alexander's hand, you see a flash of a dark tendril reach from the key and out in the direction you're heading, toward presumably okay. the ship shop. Your okay. vision then goes black, and you hear the sounds of, oh excuse me, your vision then goes black, and you see a ghostly image in front of you. It's Emile standing on a sandy shore, and she's speaking to someone. I leave you the usual single shot, Constance, but I think that would be given your complete lack of any kind of skill. So here's a whole box of powder and shots. Better start practicing if you want to catch something to eat. You see the face of Constance, the Lady Bluff's enforcer, whom you met at the dinner and in the potion shop, haggard in a wide bottom dress. Then the image reshapes and you see her again, but the gown is far more worn and she's angrily trying to pour gunpowder down the barrel of a pistol, but spilling it as her hand shakes from rage. You hear a gunshot and are brought back to reality. Hello. <laughs> Freak me the fuck Ding out. Dong. <laughs> uh, you guys keep traveling. Okay, and I'm the only one who saw that? Uh, you're the only one who saw that. You can share that with the group if you want, or you can like keep it to yourself, but I'll leave that yeah. to you. Oh, yeah, Skip's not that smart, so he's probably going to share that right away. Um, uh, fellows, uh, uh, I just had the strangest vision. Uh, it was of a meal, so I thought it would be a love dream. And then she was talking to another woman, and I was like, whoa, this is definitely a love dream. But she was going to be giving her weapons, um, and weapons usually ruin it for me right about that point. Uh, and, and then everything changed and, and the, the woman who I'm pretty sure was friends with the Lady Bluff was trying to load a gun, but not very well. So I'm not too worried about her abilities. Still sounds like a Anyway, it was probably just something weird. Uh, we can keep going. Okay. <laughs> Emil uh, looks shocked, but she doesn't say yeah. Uh oh, Nick. You're uh... anything. Did I cut out? Nick. Oh, yeah. Oh, I got you back. A teensy Love. bit. Okay. Oh, sorry. So Emil. Okay. Yeah, it's okay. Emil looks shocked, but she doesn't say anything. Uh, What's saying, uh, Emil? You guys approach the cove. <laughs> you guys approach the docking cove opposite the ship shop, which uh, is in the middle section of that map there. You beach boost on the left sandbar just outside a large chain that blocks the entrance. You slip underneath on foot and move into a large covered cove. To your left, it reaches up and becomes the roof. Ahead, a wide dock wraps around the interior of the cove. And to your right, you see 20 rows of ships, two in each row. In the far back corner, you see your ship, the Golden Rose. Above, a guard sleeps on a hollow square hanging platform. You need to move the ship that's in front of your ship, figure out how to get this chain off of the cove, and get out of there, hopefully, before the Lady Bluff shows up. Skip has an idea. Go. Um, Skip can cast Fog Cloud. Um, so I create a 20-foot radius sphere of fog centered on a point within range. 
The spear spreads around corners and its area is heavily obscured. It will last for the duration or until the wind of moderate or greater speed, at least 10 miles per hour, disperses it. Thank you. We eat the money. Yes. Oh, yum. Hey. Okay. Ooh, make Thank sure none you, of this Zyla. goes to Chris. Absolutely not. <laughs> Hello. He, won't, he won't get a dollar of it. <laughs> it never does. <laughs> um, so I can cast Fog Cloud, um, which would probably help us a great deal to be sneaky sneaky but do we want to use that now or do we want to use that when we're escaping you can only use it once per session yeah or not? okay yeah hmm. maybe well, use it like, only if we get caught. actually yeah i i think it's a cantrip so i can only use it once per like day um i can look up the i can look up the logistics but we basically just get one shot. So if it's yeah. affixed on a point, I feel like I could put it, once we get to the ship, I could put it on the ship so that when we're moving through, it's kind of just like a fog cloud going through just everything. Just rolling through? Yeah, like just that, rolling through. Like yeah. Yeah, because it would yeah. cover the ship, I think. Yeah, I think yeah. let's wait until we're seen, and then we can like okay. light it and then use it as a getaway. Yeah. But we don't want to waste okay. it if no one's going to even see us. Yeah, it, I see. Yeah, okay. So sneak on the ship, and then once we're on the ship, cast that, cast that baby, and then uh, we sneaky sneak out and we scoop up Dave. Hopefully. Yes. Yes. Okay. So there's also uh, the chain which is blocking the exit. So even if you move the ship in front of yours right. and get your ship out, uh, there's you guys saw like a big lock on the chain mm. that's blocking this exit. So either need to find some way to take that off or or cut it or. Or, or maneuver around it somehow. Okay. Am I strong enough to hit that off with an axe or something? Uh, probably not. You saw okay. uh, when you walked in, you saw this like guard on a hanging platform near the roof, uh, and one of you actually saw like in the corner a rope ladder that's like coiled up, and this guard is just like fast asleep next to the rope ladder. Hmm. Hmm. Okay. Well, so we're gonna have a problem getting on the ship, and we're gonna have a problem some, getting out. Do you guys need some guidance, or Marta? Do so you uh, uh, right now, you need to figure out seduce and steal the keys. But he's asleep. We don't want to wake him up. I mean, but we need his keys, so uh, we might as well actively wake him up. That's the bitch. It's fine. Are any of them? Are any of us uh, sneaky enough to grab the keys? I'm not a rogue. Mm, um, let me check my. I'm terrible at everything. Thing. Me too. I am. I am wise. Does anybody have, uh, like a ranged I, weapon? I have a. I have a bow. Um, I have a longbow. I also have a plus five for stealth and a plus three okay. for sleight of hand. So. Um, I might be able to like okay. Tom and Jerry cartoon slink up to the uh, guard and steal the keys, but that's going to require a good roll, which Skip sometimes doesn't land. <laughs> I think let's go for it. You want me to go for yeah. it? And then if you wake, oh, no, up, wake him up, then we can, can like, you know, maybe seduce him or something. Then Marta seduces him. Okay. Or okay. Nomeo. Yeah, maybe yeah. he's a fan. Yeah, Nomeo. <laughs> Maybe he's a fan. You're right. Okay, so here we go. I'm rolling, and I'm gonna use stealth because I have plus five. Then that okay, so uh, so pause real fast. So uh, right now the the rope ladder is like rolled up on top. So uh, mm. if, if, are you rolling to ladder and like climb up that, or what were you hoping to roll for? Okay, so we I have to release the ladder. Uh, yes. Yeah, you have to okay. get the, the ladder down somehow. Cool. Then so I'll that's do why I asked attack. if anybody had a range weapon. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, I have a range, I have I have a range cool. weapon. I have a longbow. Oh, longbow. Uh, javelin works too. Javelin. You could, yeah. Or you could like throw a sword, you know. Mm-hmm. It's true. So, so there's a chain with a lock. Uh, there's a that's holding the ship. There's yes. a ladder that we need to get to the guard who has the keys. Yes. The okay. So I I. I I apologize if uh, it's a little hard to like keep in your head. I hope to make no, no, a no, no. for it's, this. I uh, think you I cut out for, for us when you were explaining the latter for part. A tiny chunk. Oh, okay. Okay, sorry. So there's a hanging platform on the roof of this cove. 
Okay. And the cove is blocked by a chain. Uh, on the hanging platform, you see a rope ladder coiled up next to the sleeping mm -hmm. guard. Presumably, okay. the guard may have, have the key. And so if you can knock the ladder down, you can climb up the ladder. Easy piece. Okay, I'm going to use my longbow. I'm going to try and <laughs> knock. I'm going to try and knock that dang ladder down. Sounds I good. hope I don't shoot. Cool, I don't cool, hope cool. I don't shoot him in the process. Fingers crossed. Okay. Throw that roll. Let's find out. Well, it's a sixteen. Is that going to do it? Ooh. Sounds okay. Good. So here's what happens. Uh, you shoot your bow, and the bow oh, goes no. through the ladder enough to knock it. However, as it does, you uh, you hear like a whoosh sound as it hits the hits the ladder. And the guard mm -hmm. starts awake. And oh, he no. kind of looks around and looks down mm -hmm. at the four of you and says, Hey, what what are you doing here? Oh no. Mm -hmm. uh, Marta, seduce him. Yeah, what, you gotta give me okay. something. Okay. Um I'm gonna we magic radio my boss right now because you're definitely not. No, we were out for a night walk. <laughs> uh, actually, uh, actually, we're gonna tell on you about mm. sleeping on the job. Yeah, we're actually inspecting the guards. Yeah, we said we of were us. hold on. Hired to patrol, and now, you are not doing well, pal. We're part of a security firm. Well, now everybody just hold up. I, I won employee of the month, like four times in a row mm. last year to, to the all right, and I, guard system as a whole. True. Mm. No, I'm gonna okay. Take notes. You're going to get all your friends fired, too. Is this what you like? The bigger they are, Listen. the harder they fall asleep. I I, I know Thank I've you, been clacking, okay? I like, I believed in myself, but it, it just, it gets really easy when you're at the top to let it go, and I, I, I'm i sorry. I'll, I'll do better. What, um, how can I help you? How, how can I fix this? We need to inspect the chains, make sure that they're, uh, you know, every couple of years they can rust because they've been in the water. So we need to make sure you know that what? the chains you know can open close. Get wet you know bad what? for You know what, guard? Um, this yeah. is a huge offense. The sleeping thing was a huge offense. Okay. I'm going to have to talk with my team for a second to discuss what your punishment will be. Mm -hmm. uh, team, can uh, I have a over here? Yeah. yeah. You see, she's All right. the, bad cop uh, the guard just the like stands at attention. Mm -hmm. Let's fire this guy. <laughs> I like it. Okay. <laughs> but should yeah. we get him to like open the gate for us first, <laughs> and then we can fire? Well, him? no, 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 because we can be like hand over your badge and your keys. Oh, yeah. I like Very it. Good. And then we can just open it ourselves. Uh huh. Yeah. I okay. like this plan. All right. <laughs> I like it. All right. Uh, uh, the, guard is, the guard is standing at attention, like really trying to do his best to look powerful and in charge. Look, man. Uh, what's your name again? Uh, my name is Randy. Writing that down. Randy. Randy uh, yeah. Red, good. It's unfortunate. I've heard people hear good things about. Me. Yes, ask them about. Yeah. Well, oh, they sure. used to. Yeah. Randy. <sighs> This is like a a very uh, this this facility needs the highest of pedigree for their security, and since we found you asleep, uh, I don't think we have anything else uh, we can do other than uh, have no. to fire you. Oh my god! So, sorry, yeah. we're sorry, no, please, man. Oh. You can always oh, man, apply this... next year. No, no, because that. <laughs> Come on, any Oh god. He uh he begins to climb down the ladder towards you and he like he comes up, he's like, yeah. Come on. I anything, uh I'll, I'll go get anybody right now and they'll tell you how great Randy is. I swear. Who do you think sent us? <laughs> and he just he just breaks down. <laughs> defeated. Right, putty your putty keys. in your hands. Randy, Randy. He, uh, Randy. <laughs> he reaches inside his jacket and hands over first his uh, his keys with some difficulty, and then he reaches again inside to find a uh, a ship shop badge with a ship and a hammer, uh, like 
crossed. Mm. And he, he like looks at it longingly before it over and his head sags as he slinks hey. out of the cove. Hey Randy, do, do you <sighs> have a wife? Do you have a wife that you could go home to? <sighs> well, I'm definitely not gonna now. I was close, but she was only with me for my job and my high status. Hey, if you go explain to her what happened, I'm sure she'll find it in her heart to love you, but you should go right home and tell your <sighs> wife and, and, and go right home. Don't, don't stop at a bar because alcohol only makes things worse. Take it from me. I get drunk off half a beer. Just go home immediately. That's a good idea. I was gonna... Yeah, you know what? You're right. I'll do that. Okay. Talk me with your love. I want to say one. thank you, but I don't really like you. So, goodbye. Fair, and fair. He, uh, he Get some rest. And takes Get some rest, movie. Randy. <laughs> Alright, good job. You've All cleared right. the uh, you've cleared the guard, and you now have well the done. keys uh, to the... You, you now have the keys to the oh. ship, or excuse me, to the chain, as well as... Uh, so... Okay, so we can just hop on our ship and we can hop on our ship and fog cloud it out. We can vape it out, right? What else do, what else do we have keys to? Yeah, thank you. Oh, uh, presumably any ship in the room. Interesting. Oh. So Whoa. you, uh, uh, so, so there's forty ships in the two. Oh Jesus! So, shit. You never know what. Holy ship! <laughs> I, you never know. You never know what. It's a big town. Yeah. You never know. I, you know, if there were forty horses, it's like a. But <laughs> What's the you never know what people one? will leave in their ships. Uh, the big, biggest one is uh, uh, you. You don't have to. I'm not expecting you to explore all of them. You can just say like you look through them if you want, and we can. Mm, okay. Yeah, I want a rifle. The Lady Bluff ship is not there, Sad Bill. But good, Damn good, it. Uh, good thought. Good instinct. Let's just do our ship then. Can we can mm. we rifle real quick? Can we do a quick like stealing montage? Yeah, can we mm. yeah, take yeah, things yeah, totally. off of other people's boat and put them in our boat? Yeah, sure. If right, you what's want. That uh, most what, expensive here, looking boat. Is there one made the of The most gold? expensive looking boat? <laughs> yeah, let's do this. Let's say uh what kinds of things would you guys like imagine enjoying decking your boat out with? Either like practical a function for game or like okay. A jacuzzi. <laughs> Definitely a jacuzzi. Corgo. Uh, Probably uh, like or, or uh, yeah. a, a big mirror and then some weapons. Yeah, weapons. That's a good idea. Okay. <laughs> I mean, the hot tub was also a good. Okay, idea. so <laughs> here's, for my wife. here's what you guys find. You guys, <laughs> you guys find like a uh, on the most expensive ship, kind of uh, one of those cruise ship center areas where it has a jacuzzi oh God, like in like one slot and then like deck. a little. There's a leader deck. Yeah, it's got like it's got like a little boulder section, yeah. cornhole, and a grass field on it, Look. and maybe like shuffleboard or something. Uh, uh, and you're able to like that kind of. Uh, and Freud and Alexander are like good carpenters, and they transplant that to your ship yes. super quickly. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, and then also, I should say, uh, Marta, you rum ruffling through uh, some find an amulet. And uh, as you're looking at this amulet, Alexander comes up and describes it to you as uh, the Amulet of Aging, which has 100 uses. And when you use it, you like grab on the amulet and squeeze it. And for one minute, either in battle or out, uh, you will become like as young as your peak condition was and as healthy Whoa. as you ever have been oh, for a short oh amount of time. My. And as uh, sexy as I and used it's got, to be. <laughs> Yeah, and it's a beautiful piece of jewelry, like a red, red uh, amulet. But it only has 100 uses, and once you use it 100 oh times, it's done. Hey, Marta, can I see that? I'm going to use it right now. I'm going <laughs> to use it right now. pretty slow, so. I'm going to use it right now. Okay, you, uh, give it you a test press on it. Right now. <laughs> you press on it, and uh, I'm just going to write down 99 right here. Okay. <laughs> uh, you right. press on it, and you, like... Take a deep breath in, and you look down at your body becomes like just incredibly in shape and powerful, and you like start to move around, and you feel light, and you feel dainty, and you feel like excited. Uh, everything that you felt in your youth comes back at once. 
Skip is like wow. immediately in love. Marsha, <laughs> you you've never Wait, can I can I do a can I do a reveal, dramatic reveal? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, you guys see me from the back and you see this mm-hmm. happening from the back and then I like turn around. Yeah. <gasps> Holy oh! no you, <laughs> You're you're stunning. You're the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. Let me see that amulet. I can't look at you. I don't want to change my too, There's too much going on in my heart and my head. I, I, I won't be able to function with you like this. Stop flipping your like hair. My hair it smells so good. <laughs> Unfroy ah. as monocle and he turns oh, around and like stutters. Okay. Um Yeah, so wait, you guys uh you guys did yeah, I find go ahead, any go ahead. weapons? Uh you guys found uh you guys found so what weapons do you have right oh, now? Real fast? Uh Bronx, do you have the coral axe and Nomia, what do you have? Then skip. What weapons does everyone have? I do have my coral axe. Uh, I have a morning star, like one of those okay, big mallet things. I also have a great axe, have a... And a hand axe, and a javelin, and the coral axe. Okay. I have a dagger and a longbow. Okay. So uh, here's what I'll uh, here's what I'll let you guys do. So uh, Mark. Marta and Bromps, uh, you guys don't because you got items already, but uh, Skip and Nomeo, uh, you can, I'll let you either like exchange your weapon that you have right now for another like standard plus one version. So like mm-hmm. you're, you're going to get a plus one version of whatever your weapon is right now, but if you want to swap weapons, this would be the time to do it. A little, a little re-kit, if you will. Uh, um, I'll stick I... with my Morningstar, but I'll do the plus one one. Cool. I definitely want to have a like a plus one longbow. That would be tight. Okay. Um, just like Dope. and then because yeah. would... I love having a longbow. Sweet. All right. Uh, so you guys rekit. Uh, you find these. So that items. means we get. That means we get plus one on attacks now. Oh yeah. Too. Yes, sorry. So whatever you're, uh, like, if you're rolling to attack with a sword and you normally have, like, plus two because of your strength, you now add plus one to that, so it would be plus three. Cool. Uh, so. <laughs> Marta! Marta looking young. <laughs> oh, my God, Marta. Okay. Uh, okay, okay. You, guys, uh, you guys move toward your ship, uh, and as you step on the ship, uh, Everybody roll a perception check for me. Or actually, not everybody except for Skip roll a perception check. Oh. You, you, you bonded with the last one. Oh, I got oh. a 20. I got Whoa. a 20. Oh, shit. Okay. Seven. Um, <laughs> seven? Okay. Well, a crit 20 is definitely going to do it. Uh, cool. You, uh, you step on the ship, Nomeo, and as everybody is kind of getting prepped and uh, moving the ship in front of you out uh you gotta pull out and you notice on the ground uh a bit of gunpowder uh just in the middle of the deck uh and that's Mm -hmm. all hey guys there's some gunpowder in the middle of the deck here wow great looking nomeo thank you my vision had gunpowder did emil have a secret rendezvous Mm -hmm. with a vec, a vec un lady bluff compatriot. Sorry, I'm looking for my D20. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Martha, it's like definitely been more than one minute. Have you been clicking that? I was thing? about to say. Oh, I found it. Uh, Marta, <laughs> uh, you feel the youth fade from you. Oh. Well, that felt <gasps> nice. Old. I'm still so uh, attracted to you. My skin just. <laughs> Fell off. He just raised yeah. it up. Uh, Unfroy <laughs> walks toward the gunpowder. He like uh, touches it in his fingers, sniffs it a little bit, and then uh, does this motion and proceeds to, to walk toward the helm. I don't feel so good about this. Hmm. But Skip, I think Skip has. Yeah, Skip has a minus one wisdom, so he probably doesn't realize anything's going on too bad. 
Uh, okay. Okay. As you pull out, as you pull the ship out of the cove, Onfroy looks confidently at you all, and a wave of relief comes over Emil's face. Uh, okay. Emil turns to the four of you and says, uh, "We need to move toward the main entrance. I am sure that our god friend will let us out." Uh, as she crosses to the front half of the ship to survey the canyon, uh, Wait, she's am looking I out. Cloud cloud? Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Did you want to do that? Sorry. Are we still doing that? Do you want me to cast it? You're so you're like moving out here? of the cove, so. Yeah, um, and it lasts for it lasts until there's like high winds, so it could definitely get us out of here. If it lasts until there's high winds, then maybe yeah, might as well. Yeah, I guess may as yeah, well. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Skip is gonna um. Skip like, just pocket rips ass. Sand. No, Skip he's gonna pocket sand it. Five he's gonna pound. pocket sand it. Like in, um, in, like in King of the Hill, he's gonna go sha 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 and pull out pocket sand and throw it on the bed, <laughs> and then it's gonna, <laughs> and then it's gonna cover the ship. But oh, he doesn't have pockets because he's still wearing his fancy um, Chippendales outfit, so I guess he just grabs it from his pants. <laughs> like he just reaches in, just like duck in yep. Zoolander style, rip it out and throw yeah. down. <laughs> exactly. Uh, okay, you uh, you cast uh, this fog cloud and uh, around the ship uh, a fog of a cloud of fog forms uh, and as you move out of the cove you hear um, you hear voices coming from the tower as they're trying to look for you guys and you can actually hear them close moving through the fog but they don't seem to they don't seem to notice you yet um, okay. but on the deck of the ship you can still see uh, and so okay. Emil crosses the front half of the ship to survey like kind of their next direction as you move toward the exit of the canyon. Uh, mm -hmm. And as the rest of you are looking around, you hear the door to the lower decks burst open. Mm -hmm. Constance, clad in a frilly wide bottom dress, strapped, oh, with leather, strapped with leather weapon holsters, stands, mm -hmm. pointing a gun at Emil. And as Emil turns, oh, Constance clicks the flintlock and says, practice makes perfect. She pulls the trigger, and Emile, no. wide-eyed, clutches her chest and falls backward over the side of the boat. Holy Roll initiative. Shit. Roll oh initiative. my god! You killed Emile! Emile. Oh. Seven. Okay. No. I rolled a one. <laughs> Murder! Oh my oh, god. Skip is, Skip, is so, Skip is so freaking pissed. Skip is so mad. That's gonna affect what every is single one of you. <laughs> All right, uh, uh, so what were our... I think I got 12. That was, the, that was one of the loves of Skip's life. He's so mad. Uh, who got 12? Marta. Marta got 12. It was me. <laughs> Skip and Bronx, what did you receive? I rolled a one. Ooh, Keep things uh, interesting. that is rough. Does the bullet Nine somehow plus. curve and hit me? In the skull? <laughs> <laughs> no, not quite. <laughs> All right. But I got actually, nine plus three, 11. No, 12. I can do math. Okay. 12. All right. Now we're adding Ooh. bonus. You have an initiative bonus. Oh, uh, initiative bonus. Like it says. Nice. Oh, yeah, yeah. So make sure to add your. Uh, I forgot about it's an initiative year, bonus. Oh, I have plus it's two year, initiative. So plus I have two. nine, I guess. I hit a three, actually. Okay. Uh, you still rolled a one, so it's still yeah, going to be well, a crit it's fail. <laughs> I don't know. The, the one is the slapstick equivalent on the D20. <laughs> yes. It's fun for me. And I don't, I don't really know where to find it, so I'm, go, I'm just going with the big zero okay. for my initiative <laughs> bonus. It's right on the front page of your... Uh, That's fine. Of the app. On the, to the left of HP. Oh, negative two. Negative two. Oh, so I actually got Ooh, the ten. All right. There you go. Marta. Look at that. Your stats. <laughs> all right. Uh, let me write this down real fast. So, okay, I'll wait till, uh, till Rocky comes back. I hear, I hear. Let me do his. Okay, cool. So, uh, the first thing that's going to happen, because you rolled a one, is uh, Constance is going to aim one more of the six <laughs> pistols that she has strapped across her uh, at you, Tom. And uh, she is gonna fire 
Oh, she's gonna fire first, and she's gonna hit a uh, 19, which I'm gonna assume is gonna beat your AC. It's 15, yeah. Okay, and then she's gonna do <laughs> eight damage. <laughs> okay. Hell. Maxed out first first shot. Jesus Christ. Don't shoot her. Shoot me. Wait, don't actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she she reaches out and just. I'm gonna okay. write down the initiatives real fast. Uh, and, 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 then, and, then, and then that's only gonna happen because you rolled a one, but she's also top of the order. So then she's gonna uh, she's gonna drop that pistol and pull out two more. God damn it! And, Double wielding. Uh, skip and she's gonna try to skip uh, shoot skip and Nomeo. Oh, uh, first, she's gonna get a fifteen on the first shot at skip. I got the armor class 13 that hits. Okay, so that's gonna hit. And then at Nomeo, it's a, a natural 20. No way! <laughs> this bitch is gonna die. Oh, I'm so Whoa. sorry, guys. But I'm not. Guys, it was a good campaign. Um, <laughs> yeah. Really okay. good. We're all gonna no, die. No, you're gonna be okay. Don't worry. Hands of this. It's only setting you up for triumph later. Woman. <laughs> Okay, Skip, you're gonna take six damage, uh, uh, and Nomeo, uh, Nomeo, you're only gonna take one damage, but you are gonna be knocked prone. Okay, that's fair. Brutal. Uh, you're gonna be like, actually, you know what? You're only gonna take one damage, but it's like shot you in the foot, and so uh, your movement speed is half for the rest of the battle. That's, movement speed that's is more. half. So what does that's that mean? It, uh, it's, you're limping. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right. Skip's turn. <laughs> okay. Skip is so fucking pissed. Um, and I don't... Uh, so my art, my fighting style is archery, which means I have a plus two to attack with ranged weapons, which means I also have uh, the plus one, which means I also have the plus two for my bow. So I have a plus five with my longbow now. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. Okay, so cool. Skip is going to just straight fucking rage and aim for this bitch. Um... So okay. with a longbow, um, and we're like close, so I feel like it's gonna it's gonna not do great. And Skippy rolled an eighteen plus five, so mm. all right. Stuck on my left side. That's what I'm talking about. Okay, so Skip <laughs> is just like straight right. up like screaming at the top of his lungs, draws the bow, and just aims it for like I don't know one of her fucking eyeballs or some shit. Right between the eyes. Uh, you you let this arrow fly, and uh, Constance looks like is just staring Skip down. And as she pulls out the next two pistols, the arrow flies like directly into her shoulder, like right. No, no, I want to get one of her eyeballs, and, so she aims oh, fucking shitty. Okay. I'm going for an eyeball, so her aim isn't as good. Ooh. Okay. Well, all brain. right. Let's let's work this out. Because I feel like I feel like if you want to hit the eye, you gotta like. You got a nat 20, but you did get 18. Because yeah. the eye is like oh, crippling. Plus five. Right? Plus but, five. All right. All right. I, no, I, I like this. That's a 23. 18? <laughs> 18 okay, plus five. Okay. I, I can work with that. Yeah. You, uh, she pulls out the both of her pistols, uh, and you let this arrow fly. And as you do, like, it goes through her eye and kind of out the side. So it doesn't kill her like, it, like a headshot, oh, but it yeah. totally just like... Mm -hmm. Yeah, she, that, she goes that down, eyes fucking useless. She goes down prone. Um, she's a tough, she's a tough lady. So she, she like stands back up and is now real pissed off. Yeah, uh, so am I. But you I'm gonna have, take, you I'm have gonna take the bullet. <laughs> I'm gonna take the bullet out of my chest and I'm gonna throw it on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> okay. You love the meal. She uh, she takes out a little vial of like what you just like magical uh, magical Red Bull basically, which is just like keep you going in a fight. Okay. It's just like you know, so it makes sense. Um, yeah. Okay, Marta, your turn. Um, I'm not really good at combat. Mm. Except you have that amulet now. Can I crawl on her ass? Thank you. <laughs> you cannot crawl in her ass. No. Uh, oh, uh, sorry, Skip. Uh, I need a damage roll from Skip. I oh, to get that. yes. Okay. So it's 1d8 plus 
three. Let me pull on my D8. Do, do, do. Sorry, Marta. We will return in a moment. Okay. And that's going to be seven plus three, ten. Cool. Okay. Ooh, that's a good chunk. Uh, all right. Sorry, Marta. Go ahead. I'm going to try to use the you amulet to become young and then just like stun her with beauty to set up maybe like uh, her to be weak for the next person to attack her or she's like caught okay. off guard or something. I like it. Cool. Good. Uh, so I also should have mentioned this when you got the amulet. Uh, anytime you use it in battle, your all of your stats, so like your constitution, your dex, your strength, anything that you use to roll will be up by two. So, so all those things that you have that are super negative will be, uh, should be either even or positive. Uh, so you can use it like that if you want. But you, uh, assuming you want to use the amulet, you use it, you feel youth rush fruit through you, and you, um, you just like strike a pose at her. And, um, <laughs> oh, she's back. Make a, make oh, a, oh my God. A, I guess, persuade roll or something, oh like, to roll a d20 and we'll see if the number's high. Okay. <laughs> because I don't feel like she'd be super clean. An eight. eight. All right. Uh, Hold on. Do I have she a is not in a... Plus that way, I have, I, have, I have five. I have five persuasion. Oh. You have five persuasion? All right. <laughs> she she yeah, isn't, you, like, rude by you. basket. <laughs> She is shocked for a moment by your transformation, and then she just split, spits blood again and uh, stands up. And <laughs> the more you look at her, the angrier she gets. And she grabs her <laughs> pistol, waiting for her next move. Is there anything else you want to do? or? Uh... Um, I feel like a lady that just got her odd, I'm going to be too. <laughs> too yeah, I'm going to... I'm going to... Can I attack still or no? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'll let you attack still. Okay, I'm gonna try to. <laughs> In fact, you gonna, know what? Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna try to. I only have a dagger. I'm just gonna try to stab her. Okay. Oh wait, what's cantrips? Uh, oh. Cantrips are like spells that you can use. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I have wait, I don't know if I have one. Wait, do I? Cantrips isn't a spell. It's like a category of spell. Uh, yeah, it's like a, like spells you can only use a certain number of times. Cantrips you can use any time forever. Gotcha. Oh, I have it's a dart. Like a snap. You have a dart? Okay. That's cool. Darts are cool. Ooh. I could throw a dart. I could throw could a dart throw at her. a dart with something? Because you, st uh, you still have that with... poison, too. Oh, Do shit. I? Oh, we saw the poison? I guess yeah, you never, never used, used the poison. It. Oh, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna, I don't know if you want to like, you can, like yeah, I'm take time to fill the right now in battle, or you could do that later. But <laughs> I'm just gonna try to throw a, a regular dart at her. Okay. Aim for a good eye. Cool. That's what's happening. Yeah, I'm gonna aim for her other eye. All right, all right. Shoot. It's a good idea. Yeah, I like this. I like it. What's my modifiers here? What do I? Uh, uh it would be ranged. Like your yeah, ranged weapon and plus two since you're young. <laughs> okay. So sorry, I don't know how to find anything on this freaking app. That's okay. Um, sorry, you're 80. Not right now, though. Uh, uh, right. <laughs> Why are your senses? Um, where is the range <laughs> weapon? Dang. Sorry. Is it just part of the weapon in your weapon section? I don't know. I don't know where it says it. It might be like I don't, I don't that's okay. If uh, for for now we can just use uh, I'll just give you a plus two because you're that's like the standard if you were good at it and you're you're powered up right now. So I got a two. <laughs> All right, <laughs> you um. Damn it! Do, do you, do you want to describe your shit. attempt? Uh yeah, I like throw a, I like throw a dart and it like. <laughs> It basically just goes overboard. It doesn't even, like, not even close. It's just like, I throw it farther because I'm younger, but it just goes completely overboard. 
It hits a meal in the head. Hits <laughs> <laughs> a meal's eye. Oh my god! The dead a meal on the side <laughs> of the on the side of the boat. You. You don't see Emil's body, but you throw the dart over and you just hear like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> The kangaroo! Weird, yeah, weird ref. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Constance just I'm sorry like, about looks that. Shocked so sorry actually. about that. Sorry. Uh, no, me. <laughs> Alright, I'm just gonna try to whack her with my morning star. Uh, just clean, run up, big old whack. Cool. A big whack. Throw that die. Oh no. Oh no. That's a crit fail. <laughs> we are not good at fighting. Oh, oh man. Oh, no. Killing it, y'all. All right. We're lovers, no. not fighters. Yeah. <laughs> Here's what happens. <laughs> you, uh... You, like, run up to... Actually, you describe yourself running, like, what you're trying to do. Okay, all so, what I was trying to do is... Maybe like throw my morning star up in the air so it's like not clear what I'm gonna do and I run yeah, up towards funny. her and the plan was like catch it at the last minute and use the momentum of it falling back to earth like in a catch to like <laughs> hit her Damn. in the head. And okay. it was gonna look really <laughs> sick. That would have been ill. If that okay. Was that right. <laughs> like a Guy Ritchie sequence. Yeah. 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 Play back to what actually happens. All Full in rhythm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> you you hear the motion of the waves and you start to like sync up with it. You throw your morning star <laughs> and then uh you like you slip just a little bit as you like get that final step and your hand uh -oh. is like just a little too low and you kind of like kind of like uh like look up at her as a uh, as she like drops one of her pistols, catches the morning star and oh, is going to no, try to like sense. sweep your legs out. Oh no. Uh, and she's gonna miss she's gonna miss the sweep that you like uh, uh, you stumble back. You are disarmed in front of her. Oh shit, my morning star. Alright, well So fuck. yeah, she's now holding that. Bronx, you're up. Great. I'd like to use my javelin and Yes, ranged attack. Throw it straight at her chest. Just as an attempt to debase her. Okay. Please do. It's a four. God, oh my God. <laughs> We're all terrible. All right. Except plus uh, five. It doesn't matter. Four plus nine. five. All right. A nine. Uh, since uh, <laughs> since she's got a bad eye, here's what'll happen. She uh, you you throw the javelin and it just like lands behind her, uh, but she she steps back like into it as it's stuck in the ground and it's now kind of like got her, she's trapped a little bit by it between it and oh. Nonio, and her pistol is on the ground. Her and impale her. <laughs> the the, so the sharp end is in the, the oh, board. Of um, <laughs> and Froy and Crisp are trying to man the ship, so they're busy. Uh, mm -hmm. But from yeah, the oh. fog you hear, uh, excuse okay. me, from the fog you hear like the sound of somebody call out. Uh, if I could scroll to the right section here. Is it Dave? Uh, you hear, you hear the voice of, uh, you hear the voice of Boyce, Big Kyle's, uh, oh, friendly no. bodyguard oh, call really? out. It's sooner than later, I Kyle! Guess. Kyle, Big K! I oh, know God. you wouldn't abandon me! I know you wouldn't you do that! The voice, the voice. You, uh, Kyle, you look you over to see Big Kyle, like, biting his lips and wanting so badly to call out to him. And he, uh, Kyle, he begins to, like... Try and huh, I don't know, guys. I, I mean, that's Boyce. I grew up with him. We we trained to be guards together. And that's Boyce. That's my boy. Kyle, Kyle Boyce tried to kill us. He was going and to murder us, Kyle. He was going to kill us, and he was a good guy. And now you're with the good guys, mm. and we are like pressuring you into keeping your it's mouth. It's like you have three Boyces. Isn't we that worth something? Okay. Okay, three three voices. Please yeah, help yeah, us yeah. get out of this voice. No, er, I, Kyle. I get it. <laughs> By the way, you are <laughs> massive. Just you are towering. Such a Did big guy. So that's that's why they call me Big Kyle. Yeah, I, you know. Okay, I I feel like Boyce always called me Big Kyle, but he never like 
really acknowledged how big I really was, you know, like mm. inside and out. Seems and like I Nick appreciate that you. Is, is thank Nick is is Big Kyle bigger than? I appreciate that. Yeah. Is Big Kyle bigger than Skip or taller than Skip? Uh, yeah. yeah. I think I think he's like a little and like much broader. Okay, because Skip's he's five eleven. Skip, oh yeah, he's five eleven. I. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this was all oh, okay. Security. Oh, I you know what, Sandville? You're anyway. right, actually, I think. Okay. okay. Yeah. Thank you for the chat. Mm. <laughs> uh, okay, Kyle, so he's not he's not taller, but I think he's fairly broad. You are the biggest Thank you. Kyle Thank you, Skip. And I know all, a lot all of All right, Kyle. guys. <laughs> well, all right, guys, check this out. Uh, and he uh, he pulls out, like, a magical radio from his holster. And he uh, kind of walks right. into the corner so that his voice Don't doesn't echo. And he says, uh, he says, oh, boys, this is Big Kyle. And he's like holding back tears as he does, trying not to break. And then he looks to the four of you and like steals himself. And he hears, uh, Bo Big Kyle? Boys, it's me. Listen, uh, the, they stole the second piece of the key and they tried to take me hostage. They left off the, uh, off the south side of the aisles. And uh, he continues to lie to Boyce as uh, you hear. He shouldn't have said we took the key, Big Kyle. You're an idiot. Pretty small. Boyce's move. voice, the walkie talkie, and like looks over frozen at you. Please, I'm so sorry, Marta. I, I want to be your friend so bad, and I'm so sorry. Uh, and he. Hey, he, one out of two. He just like drops the wall. <laughs> um. He From told there, them, I mean, it is... Yeah, he told them we were going the opposite way. That's pretty good. Yeah, so the, the threat enough. that you heard approaching has gone away for the moment. Uh, we still yeah. got but you are to deal with. Yeah, we're still fighting. Right. You are still fighting. Uh, and it comes back to the top of the order uh, where you hear, uh, you hear Constance grit her teeth and uh, pull out one more pistol and try to shoot at Marta, who is now young, but she... He is going to take that shot uh, and completely miss off the side and then, like, fall to one knee. Uh, and oh, yeah. it's going to be Skip's turn. Excuse me, hon. Excuse me. <laughs> what can I do? Honey. Don't hun me. Uh -huh. blood. Um, you said she's kind of stuck to the javelin, right? Uh, she's oh, not God. stuck. She's just, like, she's having difficulty moving since you shot her eye out. And that's mm -hmm. just another obstacle. <laughs> okay. Totally um, Skip's gonna uh, Skip's gonna pull a what's that over there? Uh, and try to distract her, and then run up and just stab her. <laughs> okay. Uh, roll like a persuasion check or something for me. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. I'm persuasive. <laughs> Nineteen plus two. Oh. Okay. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, all right, let's play it out. Skip. Oh, go for you're it. Yeah. on the side of the, your face where the eye still exists. What's that over there? She looks shocked, and then turns around for a second, and, and then, then looks back to you, horrified. Running up with a knife, like coming towards her neck. Car slipping. Okay. Uh, make an attack roll with advantage. Okay, okay, okay. Skip, what am it's, I looking at? That's I don't see eight, anything. But I want to do advantage, and that is going to be a 15 plus 3 for my proficiency. That'll do it. Yes. You, uh... Okay. <laughs> clap, clap, clap. <laughs> you, uh, run up. Yeah, go ahead. Um, yeah, so, uh, yeah. Oh, what's that over there? Uh, and then huh? literally just like freaking charge, and I'm going to like, her neck. Vietnamese baby from Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Shanking her. Um, you come up and, and uh, yeah, go ahead and roll damage. Yeah, one d four plus three. I get a four plus three, seven. Damn. All right. She is the. Uh, she's not quite dead, but she is very, very close. Uh, yeah, and she uh, she's like starting to cough up stuff, she expletives at you as she's like trying yeah. to reach for another pistol. Um, yeah, and Marta, it's your turn. You're still young for the time being. 
Can I okay. Off Marta? I'm just gonna try to step on her throat. <laughs> okay. Jesus. So you're gonna like high kick her? Well, you just, she just got stabbed, right? She's feeling she's pretty low. Is she is she prone? Yeah, she's, she's prone. She's uh. Yeah. Okay. Is she uh? She was on the ground when she when you came at her. Yeah. So now she's well, like yeah. she's like hands on the ground, one hand like you know. Jugular. Yeah. I'm assuming Marta's wearing heels, right. so I'm just gonna put a heel in her throat. Cool. Cool. Make a make a attack roll with advantage. I'm curious yeah, to see what happens it'll be if they roll a one. Easy. But I hope they don't. Yeah, yeah, that's basically the only thing that's going to keep you from How can you fuck up? <laughs> if I got someone's throat. 19. Woo! Yes! Right. Finish it off. Pack it. I can roll another Describe to see if I get the, a 20. Uh, just oh, the, yeah. the sexual power emitting from Marta as she... <laughs> she's right, so Marta... And then, like, that, that riff from Boots are made for walk-in places. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'm trying to think of a nice quip, but um, Marta is just like, uh, fuck I see you. you. <laughs> <laughs> clack, 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 fuck you, step. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> you, uh, you finish off uh, Constance. You feel, you feel the life drain through her as you step on her neck, and she coughs up blood, dying. But she utters out, "At least I got a meal." As she dies, Damn. and then she lays there, uh, lifeless on the ground. A what do you think her picture. last meal was? <laughs> <laughs> you hear a Freud just uh, out of like sheer desperation for humor. Bang on the ground and then a barrel like, <laughs> <laughs> and then kind of like. Okay. Can we like fish up Emil's body? My uh, yeah, you can. Like, you can try net? to do that. Yeah. Um, I have Legend Smith. I do have. I do have. Net proficiency. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> <laughs> because okay. um, my chosen my chosen terrain for this as a ranger is um, my chosen terrain was the sea, so I was given a proficiency with net trident spear and light crossbow. Wow. Uh, okay. okay. So well, I rolled a I guess nineteen. You get a body recovery. Yeah, yeah, I rolled a you nineteen. Cast your net body. I just want to like. Yeah, I just want to pull her up. What if we give you, uh, Emil the amulet or whatever the the youth thing? Can we like bring her back for a few minutes just to like see if there's any like secrets or things that she words. yeah last words that she wants to impart before? Or we does Emil let her get go? any death saves or was that like she's just done one and done? Uh, no, that was it. That was it. That was that. Okay. Direct plot points. Um, no, but uh, okay. yeah, sure. I, I, yeah, so you can you can place the amulet on her and see Ooh. what happens. She's just gonna get so hot want. and dead. And Marta <laughs> and Marta kind of gets smeagolish with the amulet, and she's like, "I don't want to use. I don't want to use it. I only Marta have a certain just number once. of uses." Marta, what if she has something important she could have told us? To avenge Skip her is husband. Crying. Skip is Skip is just straight crying. We, we just need one. Marta, minute. you feel the youth drain out of you. Oh my god, what's happening? Ah. <laughs> you, you're uh, gross now. Yeah. Oh, you're all raisiny. <laughs> I keep forgetting what you look like when you're normal, and it's gross. I don't want to look at you. Anyway, give us that amulet. <laughs> Fine. Jesus Christ. Here. Uh, you pull Emil's body up onto the deck, and uh, you place the amulet on it, and... Uh, you you squeeze it and you see you see like a little bit of juice run through uh, run through her body and she kind of like takes one deep last breath in and heaves out uh, what does she heave out what what clue does she heave out a lobster mm. she swallowed an entire lobster when she found her water <laughs> she had a bunch of um, no uh, she uh, she just heaves out. Uh, Keep going, and uh, oh, and with what that. What the fuck, Emil? Thank you, Emil. <laughs> Thank you. 
You guys fucking wasted my like, amulet to hear that. I'm sorry, you guys fucking I thought wasted it was my amulet to hear that. that. Like a clue. And you're now at 93. The amulet is ever so slightly dimmer. Skip is like half kissing or half trying to give her CPR mouth to mouth. Okay, is this allowed? We shouldn't. We shouldn't have this happen. <laughs> He's gross. Um, uh, but Alexander also, comes I mainly up wanted to, like. I mainly wanted to pull her body onto the ship because I didn't want it to like wash ashore anywhere. As a spooky mm. food, food anyway. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really just thought sure. I got one dead body. Um yeah, so uh you guys uh you guys take the body and store it presumably somewhere underneath the deck, you know, uh properly so. Uh and as you uh as you are heading out toward the exit, uh you hear you hear the voice of Dr. Captain Barnabas Page through the fog. No as way. As you hear this kind of like hover oh sound God. from that platform this moving towards you. Lack of ticking. A little bit. Yeah, it's the, the lack of ticking. Motherfucker. Uh, you hear uh, Dr. Captain, and you simply believed him. We searched the south side. They are not there. I would presume that your friend, Big Kyle, has betrayed you. And, uh... Yes, no, no, that, yeah, he could never do that. That's, that's my boy, Big Kyle, Big King. He can never. Uh, and you hear Dr. Captain simply say, uh, quiet. Pinky, initiate a search. You hear a, uh, like a mechanical arm as a laser, like a laser-like thing begins to move through the fog. No. Uh, as you, um, hmm, let's see, sorry. All right, uh, as you approach, as you approach the exit, like from the north west side on the map on the bottom there, uh, you hear Dr. Captain Barnabas Page say, uh, ah, I found them. And uh, no! you see his floating platform move up to the front of your ship as he steps off. Uh, with him is floating around himself. the platform. Who the fuck is this guy? <laughs> this is his like. Door? Can I opportunity domain. attack? Uh, if you want to, yeah. He doesn't look threatening at the moment, but if you want to go for it, go for it. Oh. Do I, yeah. By all means. He. I mean, he I shouldn't say he doesn't he look doesn't. threatening. He has with him. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. No, no, you tell me what he looks like. Okay, he, he has with him, he steps off the platform with, like, arms crossed behind his back. He has with him Pinky, uh, Rooster, Smudge, his crew. And, like, Daniel Davies, the fighter that you guys beat, or that Nomeo beat in the pit, but who yeah. looks, like, almost kind of uh, zombified, if you will. Ooh. And much, Ooh. much larger. And- Did I crush that guy's neck? So, yeah. you did, yeah, yes. Yeah, oh, so now he's like, he's mountain, he's mountain the fuck out now. Oh my god, yeah. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> mm, yeah, she's um, like, yeah, you can do skip. it. Skip. Shoot him. I think maybe I'm just gonna, like, have my bow drawn and be like, what's up? Okay. Uh, Dr. Captain moves toward you and, uh, stops, and he says, um, I would expect that the Lady Bluff would be here momentarily. Give me one reason why I shouldn't take you all now and give her the key. Hmm. Do we have a reason? Join our crew. Join our crew. Join our crew. Wait. Join our crew. Do I still have the thing in the vault that makes people do what I want them Uh, to do? (laughs) <laughs> yes. oh, oh, whoa, that thing. Prompts, 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 prompts. I forgot about that. Do I still have that? Yeah, you do. Uh, yeah. Hell yeah. Unless you, like, threw it. How does it work? Do I? Do they have to be holding it? or? Uh, so what happened last time was that uh, you, like, you reached it up and uh, kind of, like, threw a glint in the window. It, uh, like, as you just kind of, like, took it in, it, it was almost as if you initiated something and this like glint happened. And then uh, I can't remember who fell, which one of you fell under a spell of some kind, but one of you became very, very suggestible. I did. 
because he was holding it. Okay. Yeah. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. uh, right. yes. okay. Cool. But you both you both had to like fight this hole. Right. Mm. Okay. Well, should I use this and try and get them to be cool with us like, and let them join? Yeah, our group? absolutely. All right, cool. So I'll go for that. Okay. Um, so uh, you need to like say this. You understand that you need to like get this item and object like in a close proximity to them and to like you know a way they can perceive it, and then you can you kind of put together that like. You can you can kind of with an extension of will like make it happen, so like you can just kind of press with your mind so to speak, but you need to like be closer and kind of have their attention for a moment. So you can't just like whip it out and be like ha. You got to kind of have to like draw them in somehow. And you no, gotta like Obi Wan them. Mm, yeah. Maybe we can maybe we can tell them that we have something really valuable. That, yeah. That they are gonna want, that will only give to them if they don't. Uh, turn us into Lady Bluff. Or, and then we kind of like, just... here it is. It's this thing. Oh, don't look. Oh, it's well, they want this. the key, right? And then... Yeah, what's that, Sydney? I was going to yeah, say, we does... could just push, push Brom towards them, and he could, like, fall with his hand out, and then they're all looking at Brom, and they're all looking at the thing, and that we're like, whoops, we're so clumsy, and then... That's pretty good, too. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. Alex also has a point where we could, like, just say, all right, fine. <laughs> I'll give Here's you the, the key. key. And then instead yeah. of that, I have the thing. That's probably safe. Uh, all right. <laughs> I do love the screwball. Then you're pushing. However, yeah. however you want to go about it, all you need to do is accomplish that task of getting their attention and getting it there. OK. OK. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pretend that I'm turning on everyone and giving them the key. OK. Preface okay. it. Get their attention first. Exactly. Don't so worry, he asks you. Uh, yeah, go ahead. I am simply a double agent. These slime balls here are going down. I have Brum, the key. What? It, oh, fuck you, oh. old woman. Prompts. Oh, Prompts, what the hell? We are on a team. Your movie sucks. We, suck. were like, oh, we just oh. made that plan to double cross him, and now you're and now you're tur you're you're turning your back on us. I said your movie sucks, and awesome. everyone you love dies. Wink. I'm confused. What the heck? Why are Wink. you winking at me? Wink. Wink. What? I thought we were on a team. Fuck you. Is there something in wink. your eye? <laughs> Dr. Captain sees you all wink at one another, and uh, and you can hear him, like, breath turn to Pinky and say, uh, I remember winking being of some significance between you. <laughs> and, uh, Is this part of the play you like, just made? Where we were gonna double cross Pinky them? Pinky pulled out a notebook and... No, we all shut the fuck winking. up. Uh, go ahead. I just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Dr. Captain, uh... No, Mio! Brom's just saying, like, he's not on our team anymore? Skip is, Skip is gonna, like... That. You idiot. Skip is gonna, like... Skip is gonna, like, thorax punch, uh... No, Mio, with his elbow. And maybe you miss and hit me and then push me into Dr. Captain. Which is gonna no, be I'm just gonna, at all. I'm just gonna hit No, Mio. That's oh, fair. What the heck, man? Are you turning on us too? We were just doing. We were just such a good team. Wink, wink. What is that? Your I don't know what wink means. <laughs> Look, no. Uh, Very Brom, well. Thank you. Brom says something to say. That's right. I ahead, will give ahead. you the key. Also, I hate you all, and I'm glad oh, that Emil's dead. Huh. <laughs> Yeah. So Words I, are convincing, are they not, Pinky? <laughs> Pinky just like. Yeah. <laughs> Here I am. Okay, oh my God! Guy. Like Doctor Captain Page of like facial blindness. <laughs> <laughs> very, Slow, very mild, intelligent. Like, low emotional no. intelligence. Okay, Bronx. Exactly. Make it happen. All right, cool. So I I walk over, and I stop like two feet away from Doctor Captain. And then in revealing the item, does that kind of just put them under my spell already? Or is that a risk of taking uh, here? So, and I got to roll for it. Um, I guess I actually need to be the one making the roll. So uh, Dr. Okay. Captain needs to make a like a saving throw. Sure. Um, and he is not going to do very well. Um, 
He is nice. also not going to do well. Cool. Uh, Rooster is going to do just good enough. Okay. Uh, and Smudge is also going to do well. Um, okay. But Smudge but you got is the suggestive captain. That's anyway. the important one. True. Can I just like... Oh, you see Dr. Captain... Yeah, yeah, go ahead. I was going to say, can I just open my palm enough for the captain to see? And none of his other crew? Just yeah, like, sure. Look, man, you see this shit? Dude, well, I'll give you Pinky, too. You'll okay, get, yeah, you can Pinky, get the yeah. doctor and... Okay. Pretty cool. <laughs> you you open it, and they both like look into your hands like expectantly, and they see the flash. And then they uh, they just kind of like blank face for a moment. Yes. Very good. They're part of our crew now. Let them keep the key. And uh, Pinky like looks up at the doctor. Yes, I agree. And uh, Rooster and Smudge look at each other, kind of like quizzically. Uh, and Daniel Davies is just kind of, kind of like a hulking doing anything. Sure. Uh, and uh, the doctor says, uh, "I would very much like to come with you, though, new friends." And he like offers the first smile that you've ever seen, and it's very like. Mechanical. Wow, he doesn't do this. Yeah. Remember that he hates us when he falls out from under the spell. Uh, presumably, you kind of expect that that's how you know breaking spells mm, works. Yeah. Should we I just use that to jump off the boat and kill himself? <laughs> I was gonna say that, or we just tell him we to should... go back to like the. I, main... I think we should. I think we should try and get out of here first, and then they can be our prisoners. Like, you know, mm, like the ship is still moving. The ship is still moving. Are they dangerous as prisoners the in any way? Are they like Loki? Hmm. Uh, I mean, like the they're like a moving, definitely so... a capable crew. You. Yeah, you're yeah. okay. So actually, I, I also should say, as this has all ha happened, you've killed enough yeah. time that you uh you are passing the the exit in the like northwest corner there, and you are now <laughs> like able to round Dave, and you're Dave, you're like Dave, moving into Dave. open ocean. Dave. Yeah, Dave. We gotta get Dave. Dave. We gotta get Dave. <laughs> you call out <laughs> you see um you see David Dave the uh the guard like he gets head out and he's like looking really upset and then he sees you like wave into him or like whisper like how are you trying to get his attention? Dave Dave, Dave. 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 No, oh, just fine. yelling Dave yeah we're yelling oh. Yo! No, no way! You guys came back! And he's of like, okay, hold on one second. And he, he disappears into his tower and he, uh, you, you can like hear him like knock some stuff over in his excitement. And he, uh, he like grabs a suitcase as he comes out of the tower. <laughs> what? <laughs> can we like Little Miss Sunshine Dave? The ship is like moving fast and we have <laughs> to like, to... we have to like pull yeah, him on. Dave. Yeah, so he, he, like, sees you guys moving on the ship, and he, like, looks down, he's like, okay, and he looks forward, and the ridgeline, like, kind of comes down to, to meet, uh, but it's, it's still, like, maybe ten feet off the ground, but it's, uh, lowest, seven feet away from the deck, so he's, like, he's, like, running along, like, looking at you guys, trying to keep in line with the Come ship, on, and, uh, and Come first on. he, like, he's like, okay, I'm gonna throw my bag! And he, uh, he, like, gives no, his back. No, Dave. I don't like this. I hate it. Good huck. And he, so, uh, somebody else, uh, actually, you know, we'll say the bag makes it. The bag makes okay. it, and he's like, okay, all right, I can do this. Uh, and he's, he's running up toward the edge, and then, uh, he, like, he just, like, locks eyes with all of you at once, <laughs> however that happens, <laughs> and plants his feet. And as he launches into the air, uh, he smiles broadly, and you see him soar like through the air oh, gracefully no. as he rolls a natural twenty and comes oh, perfectly. What? Sees that he's gonna land, and then just a fucking style ducks his shoulder and like finishes with a front flip and fucking superhero landings Let's on the go, deck. Dang. And he, he like. <laughs> He's for a second as he looks up, and then he just goes, Yo! Yeah! 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 
Let's go. We're like starting a fraternity. We have a Kyle and a Dave. Yeah. <laughs> the bro is He crew. looks up, he's like, Yo, are you big Kyle, the guard? Because, like, Yo, are you Dave, the guard? Like, <laughs> I've heard about you in this Legends only. No <laughs> way. All right, what are we going to do about um, this doctor? Shit. Oh, yeah. Okay. No, no. <laughs> so. What do you want to do? Do we get rid of them or do we want to keep them prisoner? Do we I have feel like, like a gallows or not gallows? Like wait, 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 hold on. a place to lock them up on our boat? Like a, what was a it um, You have like you could like tie them up to like the mast or something, but you don't have like a dedicated prison space like a. Break. That doesn't feel safe. Okay, 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 wait, wait, wait. Let's just tell yeah. them to go so back and. We go have ahead. him under. We have him under our little uh, or under bronze amulet. He clearly yeah. reanimated that dead guy. Do you think we could like be like, hey, do the same thing to a meal this while you're point. under our spell? Yeah, as Sadville PM says, Frankenstein a meal. But yeah. look at the state that that guy's in. Yeah, he's not like a, he's do we want a meal? zombie monster. Do we want a meal to be zombie monster? <sighs> no. I, I mean, not. Skip does. Maybe oh, yeah. we can just Please. use this time to like <laughs> juice out some some good info from the doctor. Like if he has any secrets or or recipes for potions or like any good any good secret info that we can kind of like take out of his Mine brain. From him. Yeah, and then we like tell them to go back to the tower, giving us enough time to leave. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, because remember, two good. of his crew aren't under the spell, so it's That's like true. they're gonna yeah. be they're gonna be sus eventually yeah, of their robot point. doctor. Maybe we should just send them back right now and just cut our losses and get out of here. Yeah. Yeah. I well, think wait, that's... What's our overall goal here? Because we have the key now, so now we're just trying to find. You have so. Yeah. So uh, yeah. right now you're trying to get away from the. The Lady Bluff is likely looking for you right now okay. in this area. So your uh, your tentative plan is to get to the next side of islands where, uh, you know, we'll say that you guys have talked about, like, you need to figure out where this where this lost city might be now, now that you have the key, like, where is it and how do we get there. Uh, but immediate problem is that you need to get away from uh, this, like, search for you. Yeah. Uh, or to a safe space, or figure out some way to neutralize it, or whatever. Right. Okay. Sadville, mm -hmm. I like the way you're thinking, by the way. Captain Doctor would probably just be your friend if you traded him a corpse. It feels weird to give Emil's corpse to him, though. Yeah, no, it doesn't feel right. Oh, but she is Skip, dead. Would Skip would not be down with that. Of course. I think maybe we just tell the Doctor to find Lady Bluff and tell her that we went the opposite way. Buy us even more time. Yeah. That sounds uh, good. These are not the pirates you're looking for. Yeah. yeah basically <laughs> that. And then just hightail it in the other direction. Because okay. we're on our fast fast ship. Does the doctor know anything okay. about where these cool. next islands might be? Or we, we could do? ask him. Um, yeah. He, you could ask him. All right. Let's ask him <laughs> while he's under our thing and just be like, hey, if... if People hey, we're like just trading for some kind of islands like this. Where would they look? We're just trading knowledge. Uh, yes, I know of three locations: the mm -hmm. Spine <laughs> Islands, a well-populated city; uh, the Quarter Isles, a prison mining camp; Ooh. and the tip of the Spine Islands, regarded as its own space and inhabited by ghosts. And he gives you his mechanical smile again. Ghost Island, Ghost Island, Ghost Island. Goats? 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 Yeah, goats. Goatsy. Goats? Goats. The guy who did somebody that I Not used goats. to know? Yes. It's <laughs> inhabited by that guy. I like that song. Very cool. So, All right, well, that limits do I it. That's good. I mean, that's less than the whole ocean. That's three options. I, I think. I mean, I think we should go to the Spine Island, right? Because they're two of the options thank are you, Spine thank Island. Thank you, thank you. You will never escape. Oh. Hey, yeah, hey, this is thank you. Thank you. About a single drop of seawater that appears to be slithering across the deck like a tiny oh. watery slug. Oh, oh <laughs> no, you will. Everyone, look at that. 
Whoa! There it, what's the whoa. deal with that huh. slithering seawater? What the neat. heck? The All Doctor right. Captain looks down at this the slithering piece of seawater, and his eyes go wide with excitement as he like knocks Pinky, and Pinky pulls out a vial. Uh, <laughs> the Doctor scoops up this droplet of seawater and examines it and says, "I've been looking for one of these for months." And he puts wow. it in his coat, uh, and he turns to Pinky and says, "I'm excited. Are you?" And Pinky like nods, and then he looks back Amazing. to you and just gives his like. Again with the smile. Okay, yeah. so what a creepy guy. Seed, we should tell, uh, wait, wait, who was that? Shinman? Seed planted yeah. Shinman. Um, <laughs> yes, I think. We should tell him tell him that we are going to the mining camp and then we can go to the Spine Islands. Ooh, I like right. that idea. Yeah. yeah, that's a good idea. And, and then, like, he'll go back and tell the Lady Bluff and... Uh, and it's and believable we'll, because like, that's where maybe it would be anyway. Yeah, okay. and it'll be Dr. Cool. Kevin Page thing. That. Love it. All, All right, Captain, let's do it. Now that you've owned these cool. stupid people so hard, you should tell the Lady Bluff that you owned them so hard and that we should go to the mining place where I will certainly meet you. I'll go there first. You tell the Lady Bluff. Capiche? Uh, <laughs> he, uh, he nods and turns to Pinky, and Pinky nods, and they both, uh, Dr. Captain says, Indeed, I think that sounds like an excellent idea. And he, uh, he kind of like about faces on his toe and turns to the rest of his crew. Rooster, Smudge, Mr. Davies. Uh, and the zombie, the zombified Daniel kind of like, ugh. And, oh, I hate it. Uh, and he doubles and uh, begins to walk back toward his floating platform. But as he does, uh, Rooster and Smudge exchange a look. And Rooster grabs his arm. And the doctor like looks unassumedly at her. And she just kind of gives him a look, and, and then he, he looks puzzled, and then she, uh, and they like they kind of smudge like what does this? And Rooster like looks at him, and Smudge turns to the uh, to the four of you and the rest of your crew and says, uh, "I uh, I I don't think we're gonna be leaving." Oh no, Nick! Leaving. Oh, you did something. I, I don't think we're gonna just leave you with the key here. I mean, we look, don't I don't like the lady either. bluff, but I we want that key. Uh, and um, Ruth just glaring at all of you uh, very knowingly. And, and Skip uh, she is like, turns to Skip Daniel, is looking Lee at her and being like, "Me? Like you're looking at me? Like you're making eye contact with me? You're in love with me? <laughs> like you gonna just be like doing that like?" She just, like, <laughs> continues to try to shake that off. Uh, and she looks at Daniel Davies, and she she snaps. Uh, and Daniel mm -hmm. Davies, like, looks up, and he, he jumps and, like, mm -hmm. lands in front of all of puts a little bit of a dent in the deck. And he looks, like, oh, ready to go and breathing heavily. And uh, then she looks at Smudge and kind of, like, nods at him. And Smudge walks up next to Daniel and he says, uh, Yeah, listen, um, some guy the doctor made here, and uh, we're fine to leave the islands, but we're not going anywhere without that key. Uh, and he begins to like look a little bit more confidently as Rooster stares you down, and the Pinky, Pinky and the doctor are just kind of like looking around unassumedly. Whose crew even is this? Yeah, hey, who doctor, is, take your really people here. You're, just, here. you're gonna let your your subservience walk all over you like that, doctor? That's doctor, not very good casting. Really hard. Mutiny. Oh, I'm sorry, I thought you were captain. <laughs> doctor. doctor. I guess you're Matt? doctor captain. Doctor captain, actually, but it's a common oh. mistake, and I thank you for including both. Yeah, you um, got it. He turns and says, uh, "You know, Rooster, that is true. I, I am the." Kid. And she just like shakes him hard, and he can, says, uh, oh, "But, but what you think is great, just great." Damn it! Uh, and he like grins, grins at her, and then he grins at you guys as if he like solved the situation. Like, yeah. The phone. Um, oh. And. Yeah, I'll give you guys uh you can do like one more cycle of things if you want, but otherwise we 
we'll drift off into the fog. There's no. Is way there anything I, anything else you want to do or set up? Or? I can't do anything with the uh, uh, the item again, huh? They are. I mean, you could make again? them no, jump uh, off he the seems boat. Suggestible. Okay, fair. I mean, you could make them jump off the boat, like. <laughs> I don't. I guess I meant more to rooster and the other one. Oh yeah. I just make the doctor jump again. off the boat. Yeah, you can make the doctor and Smudge or uh, Pinky jump off the boat. Wow, yeah. That'd at least help our numbers if a fight breaks If we up. fight, I agree. Yeah. Okay. Um, what do you want to try to like a, Can you, like, fake throw the key overboard and then the oh, people, like a who, dog? Are suggestible, like, like, the people yeah. who are suggestible will, like, jump off the boat to get it? I like that. Yeah, I like that. Let's try that. Okay, cool. All right, yeah. Why not? Okay. Um, okay, us. so before you roll. Yeah. Yeah, go ahead. Oh, sure. Okay, yeah. Um, <laughs> Dr. Captain, wait, I wait, actually wait, have the key. Who has the key? Who has Sidebar. the key? Uh, uh, Alexander has the key right now. Oh, okay, right. cool. Because I was like, please don't Chris accidentally key. throw the key. No, I'm just going to, like, do the dog thing where I just, like, throw and then. Yeah, yeah. Is there right anything? Now? Is there anything that we have that looks like the key that we could throw off that we can afford throwing off? So they actually think that we threw something. Uh, your yeah. youth, your youth thing. That's not gonna happen. <laughs> um, you can like, you can, you have some gold on you. You've got plenty. You can. Oh yeah, it's gold. gold. Yeah, let's yeah. throw some gold. Okay. Yeah. All right. So uh, yeah. before you do this. Clarify for me exactly. You're trying to get Doctor Captain and Pinky to dive after it, or are you trying to get everybody, or who are you trying as to? Many to like, as, as many people as possible. Yeah, because like you want yeah. the key, it's right okay. here, and then you throw it, and then hopefully the more suggestible people right. will jump off to grab it. Yeah. Cool. So describe to me how how you're gonna try and fool them with your and. and I don't know, if you can convince me that you're, like, really pulling some shit, I'll give you advantage. Okay. Um, uh... <laughs> okay, fine. You got me. I am triple agenting right now. I do have the key, though. If you'd like it, please go get it. And go I fetch. try and feign a throw as good as possible. Or, no, I throw... I throw yeah, the coins. You throw, you throw the coins, yeah. yeah. I throw the coins as hard as possible so it's like not as visible. It's very blurry. Exactly, yeah. Um, okay. And we're still in some fog, baby. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> That's true. Yes, that is true. Fog champ. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, cool. so, go on, uh, get it. I throw. And give, I throw. Me, uh, <laughs> give me two rolls. Uh, I'm not gonna give you advantage, but give me give me two rolls of your. A twenty. Yes. Okay. Yeah. What was the first one? Uh, say it's a crit fail. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Another one? No. But it's a three. <laughs> Yikes! Oh my god! <laughs> How can I fuck this up? How could this have happened? <laughs> My God. Okay. Uh, um, no, I could have lied. You see, uh, could have lied. Can I like? You like, you, like throw like, this? Can I assist? <laughs> can I assist and like be like, oh no, I really want to go get it and dive off the boat because I'm like strong enough to swim that I could come back to the boat, like. That's oh what shit, that's what's coming up there. Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I want to be like, oh, why yeah, would yeah. you do that? And I'm going to go dump, dump. I'm going to go dump after it to try and like convince everyone that, oh no, that was the real time. Because this <laughs> okay. is my chosen yeah. friend, baby. Uh, well, you have better net proficiency. Yeah, yeah. So make one, a, of us should, one of us should jump. And then I'll you do it. I'm a good actor. Up. I'm a professional <laughs> oh, yeah, actor. Go get the actor. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. I will yeah. pretend that we okay. really need that key. And I'm already pretty confused. I actually think that Nomi or that uh, Brahms did throw the key up because I was confused I like this that. whole time. I thought he actually <laughs> double enough. crossed okay. us. I got really confused. Okay. Uh, so yeah. I thought Brahms really threw up the key, and I'm just gonna jump off. So I'm not even acting. I'm genuinely confused and pissed. 
And All right, make a wisdom check with advantage. The best performance he's ever done. 18. And okay. 17. Yes. All right, nice. great. Uh, you... Uh-oh. You, uh, oh. <laughs> as, like, Rooster just, like, Nicholas, looks at you wait. like this. Wait, wait, wait. And then... Hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Start you over, you cut, cut out. out. Start from the top. Okay, okay. I'm back. <laughs> uh, Bromps, you uh, awkwardly throw the key through. Uh, weird. Then Nomeo. They do. Wait, what? I Nomeo. Okay. <laughs> I, was, I was trying to set up the moment. Uh, Bromps oh. throws the key awkwardly, and Rooster like gives her, gives him Nomeo to do your thing. Oh, what the heck, Brobs? I'm that was the key. We need the key. <laughs> and I jump in. <laughs> cool. You you dive out and over, and Rooster like looks uh, looks questionable for a second, and she she like lets go of the Doctor Captain, and Doctor Captain and Pinky both look at each other and they go, whoa. Oh, what? That's the. Oh! And uh, <laughs> Dr. Captain just like it. really clunkily, really like hops off the side of the ship. <laughs> uh, and you see his like, his his cloak or his white coat uh, kind of act as a life preserver as it, it floats him. And he like kind of poorly dog paddles over to where you're going, Nomeo. Um, Pinky, Pinky just goes up to the, his like trying to figure out a way to reach out one of his mechanical arms. And then Rooster looks at Smudge, and Smudge, like, kind of does, uh, and jumps off into the water and pulls, like, a cord from the bottom of his backpack and a little inflatable raft Whoa. comes out as Shit. he sits in the water and tries to swim toward you, Nomeo. Uh, but Davies, Rooster, and Pinky, though, like, definitely confused, uh, and willing to believe maybe suggestions uh, have not jumped off. No, they're no, like uh, raptured it. and. Uh... Hey, what the I, heck? I wanna... This is just coins. <laughs> no. <Shit. laughs> I thought you said this was um, the key. Oh, uh, it's down there somewhere. Doctor, actually, I think it sinks really quickly. Doctor Captain, so maybe goes... go deep down. No, I found it. It's just cool. Dr. Captain's like, oh, deep, deeper down. Okay. Yes. And Dr. Captain, like, dives, dives underneath the water. No, uh, yo, but eventually he Dr. comes Captain. back up. Drown the Dr. Captain, no, yo. <laughs> Okay. And I'm trying to drown the Dr. Captain. <laughs> okay. Yeah, because then we'll all dive in like, to save him. <laughs> you're pushing him down, and, uh,. <laughs> You're pushing him down, and the doctor captain doesn't understand what's happening at first, and he's like, oh. Oh, no. And then he starts to, like, kind of understand that he needs air and, like, fight against you. Uh, oh, Rooster sees this later. happening, and she, like, snaps at Daniel Davies, and uh, Daniel Davies, like, huffs and, and jumps in, uh, like, almost right, right. right to you, Nomeo. Jesus. Uh, oh, no. And All I'll right, say that he, like, in. he separates the two of you. <laughs> He separates the two of you and like pushes you far away in the water, protecting Perfect. the doctor. The doctor comes up and he, Davies and Smudge, what are you? Thank Rooster you. looks. Uh, Rooster looks yes. at the Whoa. rest of you guys. Thank you, Shin Man. Sorry. Thank you, Shin Man. Thank you what? so much. Oh. <laughs> um, glad we can entertain. Um, yeah, seriously. Can I wait? And, uh, can I opportunity you guys to tag? just like. She knows she's been kind of outmaneuvered. Go ahead. Can I opportunity attack? Opportunity attack rooster? Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I haven't put my longbow sure. away this whole time, by the way. I drew it when they came on the boat, and I never That's put it great. down. So I'm going to shoot her in the foot so she's stuck <laughs> to the boat. Um, cause, yeah, the rooster. Okay. Yeah, because oh. she's like... Because she's the fast one or whatever, so I'm going to, like, fucking Achilles heel this bitch and... Um, Trying to stick her to the boat. Um, okay. Yeah. Uh, I'll give you advantage because you're already drawn and she's like, yeah. Yeah, she ain't looking. I just realized the irony of her okay. being named Brewster. 
That first one was a 17, and the second was a 3. And then I have my plus 5 with my long bow. Okay. Uh, yeah, you definitely hit it. Um, you, uh, you skewer her through the foot, and, uh, and she, like, she opens her mouth and lets out, like, a wail of pain, uh, and then, like, looks down at her oh. foot but, and is about to drink and realizes that she's, like, stuck there for the time being. And as you guys are drifting she's away, you, like, here. look out. Sorry? She's also outnumbered up here, so. Yes. Yeah, it's just Rooster yeah. and... Uh, it's just her. Right? right yeah, now? it's just her. She's the only one left. The rest of them are in the water. <laughs> uh, and okay. uh, Nomeo, though, is still in the water, so... Yeah. Uh, the, the boat is. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm gonna say the boat is pulling away. So yeah, we need to figure yeah. out what's gonna happen there. I'm gonna like Skip's gonna just yell a command to tie up Rooster, like let everyone else deal with that, because um, he's gonna okay. use that net proficiency to try and go get Nomeo. Okay. Yeah. Nope. Okay. Uh, Save me. <sighs> okay. Please, 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 please. 13 plus 2, 15. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You uh, <laughs> yeah, you get the net just cool. to, like, Nomeo's hand. Uh, I feel like... I feel okay. like... I'm not going to separate. Um, Nomeo, you're able to grasp on, and you're kind of, like, dragging behind the ship as you're able to slowly uh, climb up. Ugh. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. That was stupid. I thought that was up? the key. I was acting, Nomeo, like you. That was no way. You guys tie up Rooster. <laughs> tie up Rooster? Yeah. Yep. Rooster uh, looks at Constance's body and then looks at her comrades floating away as the doctor captain, like, waves good mm -hmm. to her unknowingly. And she looks uh, quite stressed out at her pred predicament. Yeah, um, I freaking And bet she with does. that, the four of you. Along with Big Kyle, yes. David, or yes. Davy, God, what was Dave, his name? David, David, the guard, Davey, Davey. Dave, 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 thank you. Superman. Yeah. Superman. So, uh, four of you: Big Kyle, David, uh, Onfroy, and Alexander. No longer a meal, and two uh, dead bodies, and Rooster are now sailing away. Yeah, hey. and two dead bodies. And Ooh, you get out I the doctor and call out. Bye bye. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Um, can I pick up like one or two of those pistols and add them to my weapons stash? Cool. I just wanted I wanted to know if that was allowed. Okay, Is I'm gonna also? I don't know, I like guns. <laughs> I, cool. uh, yeah, I'll say you guys can have three of them. I'll say three of them broke in the battle. But right. so there's three to distribute them. I just realized we're leaving my wife. And I forget and with her that, name. I think, uh, yeah, yeah. Lady, who knows? Maybe she's a travel dwarf. Maybe she'll, you know, roam around the islands and we meet again. I'll write letters to her. Um, what's the pistol? Uh, I guess we can talk about this after because it's not, there's no like pistols in D&D world. So what would it be? Mm. Maybe like a cannon or a crossbow? Uh, I was just giving it 1d8. 1d8? Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, lovely. And stuff like that. Um, but yeah. Great. I think with that, we can uh, cool. go ahead and call the adventure for the evening. Woo! Great job, Nick. Woo -hoo! It's riveting. Yes, another one in the books. Thank you for joining us, no, friends who sure at home. There. I feel like good stuff. Yeah, check out our Instagram. Join the Discord. Yep. R.I.P. Emil. All right, Emil. Yeah. Emil. Um, in the chat, Emil. Let me see we can yeah, write. I'll. Uh, I'm gonna try to add back in some more our chat engage guys. So uh, drop back by next time. Oh, and yo. Hey! 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 You Some fresh EN merch. Plus, you know. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, baby. All right, let's see. That's all for me. <laughs>
Yeah, thanks, guys. We'll Thank see you. Thank you. We're picking someone to raid right We're now. We're going to raid Castlehead. We're going to raid Castlehead. Yay, I'm Castlehead. Say hi to I'm Castlehead for us, and we will oh, see you online. for sure on Sunday. Thanks for the donations. Maybe before Thanks then. for the. Uh, oh, 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 and we are also right now. It's me, I'm Alex. So welcome, and we're gonna go to oh, the next we miss you, we miss you too. Oh, we're hey, great. Man, we miss you. Our stream we're is playing, ending. Jesus. We, we're playing D&D. &D. Danny, Danny, what were you streaming? Yeah. Um, what were you streaming, Danny? Geez, Danny? I'm showing offline. Thank you for following. Yeah, uh, thank you. Uh, you know what? Hey, we're gonna go to Cocoon. Sure. Yeah. Danny Panny, also known as Broadstream. Brazil. Yes. Oh, I'm man. a Brazilian just chatting streamer now. Yes. Hell, Hell yeah. Awesome. yeah. We'll have to tune in. We'll have to tune in. Check, out. Out. check that out. Everyone enjoy Bakun. Yes. Okay. Thank you for the raid. Enjoy this next raid. And we will see raid you train. again on Sunday. Yeah, raid train. Join the raid train. See you on Sunday. Raid train. Bye. 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 Good night. Dope. Awesome. Hey, Great job, Nick. Great job, everybody. Thank you. Great job. Yeah, how did you guys feel about that structure? That was really fun. I thought it was really it was fun. I thought the flow went smoothly. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I felt like the extra setup might pay off a little bit. I feel like. That was, feel yeah, like it that definitely helped. Yeah, it was yeah. really fun. It was very clear the whole time what we were supposed to be doing. Yes. Yeah. Dope. That was really, really fun. Good, I'm glad. Yeah, I had a lot. I had a blast with that. That was, that was really cool. Uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's, we, we said that. Legit, that was dope. All right. <laughs> well, guys, uh, thank you. Do you have any technical questions before I bounce? Uh, it's, uh, really cool. Sweet. Write down your items, and uh, I'll see you next time. I, I, Oh, yeah. I definitely grabbed like, like two. I want a dual wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, bye y'all. Alright, have a good night. Bye. Love you. Bye. Talk to you Sunday. Good stuff, dude. Yeah, good job. Cool. I'm going to shower. Thank you.